What's up guys, it's Spencer with Live Bearded and today I'm gonna show you guys how to trim your beard to kind of shape it, style it. I'm here with my brother Justin and uh, the focus on today's trim is really gonna be for all of our guys who grow, uh, whose beards grow a little bit faster in the neck area. What we're gonna do is balance the, the cheeks, the chin, the neck to get a much more overall balanced look and uh, allow you to grow to a really awesome beard style into the future. All right guys, so it's important to know that your beard hairs grow at incredibly different speeds on different areas of your face. Your chin may grow faster than your cheeks or your neck, and for everyone it's a little bit different. So my brother Justin here, uh, pretty normal to grow a lot in the chin area and the neck area, so if you can see what we're gonna do to kind of shape his beard and balance it is to take some weight out of the neck area, and then of course if you're gonna do any trim, you wanna line things up, so you wanna kind of bring in the top line the back line there, it's pretty natural to grow back. I think everyone kind of experiences that. And then trim in the bottom line. Again, what we're really looking to do is just balance the hairs out. Because they grow at such different rates, you wanna check in every month or so to bring them back to a, a good overall balance shape. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Before you actually take any length out, what I personally like to do is, is shape it. So again, top line, back line, neck line. Um, you'll see the hairs here. What we're gonna do is basically just run this line down pretty much off the back of the sideburn. You wanna keep it natural. You don't wanna to dip too far forward. It'll look unnatural, but these hairs that kind of whip back, all you wanna do is just kind of trim those down a little bit. Already makes a huge difference. We'll uh, hit the other side. Now you can see on this side, it naturally just doesn't grow back as far. Again, super normal for that to be the case. So that's why you wanna, there's not like a one size fits all when it comes to beard trimming. You gotta check in, uh, your hair may grow up, may grow down, you may have a calyx. So uh, treat each side, each area of your beard kind of specific to what you're working with. All right, now Justin's already kind of established his cheek line. He's really just connecting from the sideburn to the mustache. There's a couple rogue hairs here. The idea is to keep it kind of to where the bulk of your beard grows. So we're gonna leave that where it's at. What we're gonna do in terms of the weight is really focus on this, this here. You can see this grows a little bit faster. Um, so what you wanna do uh, if you have faster growth in the neck area is trim this down, allow basically what we're doing is gonna allow this to grow, allow the chin to grow in. And then over time by trimming that back and allowing the rest to grow, Fast forward a couple months, you do that a few times, and this is gonna grow longer. It's gonna really grow in awesome, give you a killer uh, overall beard that's nice and balanced. Uh, so for this, we'll uh, just attack it from the front. So again, I didn't really take any length out of the chin at all. Just a little bit through kind of the middle part of the beard. So you can see we're just pulling a little bit weight out. So when you look up, this is more of a flat line from the chin to kind of the back of the beard on the neckline. Now Justin already established his neckline. He did a good job with this. So basically, you know, his jaws here, you want to typically connect uh, your neckline or trim that in where your head connects your neck right above the Adam's apple. The additional width from the neck hairs here as your beard grows in length will give your, your beard uh, really the fullness that you need. Those hairs will give you, um, as they grow out, well, they'll attach with the cheek hairs, the chin hairs, and give you an awesome foundation for a nice, full, thick beard. And then for Justin right now, what we're gonna do, because he's looking to keep it a little bit tighter, is we're gonna actually take a little bit out of the sides here, a little bit out of the corners to keep this nice and tight. We're checking in on this left side here, same deal. Looking to keep it a little bit tighter, so it's pretty common for this area to grow faster. I know mine gets a little wild there personally, so I gotta trim this area quite a bit. And by trimming this area, it keeps your beard from kind of puffing out here, and it'll give you a nice shape into the chin. So this is a good area. Check in with the sideburns, check in on this back corner to keep that a little bit tighter, allow the growth to kind of come through the chin. I do that personally at least once a month. It's looking nice and balanced, looking pretty good. Again, didn't really take any length off, but took some weight out of here, tighten this up. 
if you're growing the stash, get a little wax in there. Just give you a little clearance. Basically dry it at the lip line. All right, so that pretty much gets us to a stopping point here with Justin. Again, we took some weight out of the neck area. We tightened this up a little bit. We lined up his just beard lines, cheek line, back line, neck line. And guys, if you are growing your beard out, if you wanna grow it out, if your beard grows at different rates, so if your neck hair grows faster than your chin or your cheeks, I recommend checking in, trimming it. And what you'll see is as you progress, your beard's gonna stay shaped, stay styled, looking amazing, and getting longer at the same time. It takes a little bit more work, but trust me, it's worth it. So I know it's a lot. If you guys have any questions about this, you know, here at Live Bearded, our mission is to help beardsmen look, feel, and be their best. So let us know how we can support you. And as always, Live Bearded, brother.